Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre, talking to you today about, uh, thankfully, summer wetsuits for 2013. In particular, the uh, Rip Curl Dawn Patrol 3-2 Summer Wetsuit Series for the forthcoming summer of 2013. Um, very popular wetsuit, year in, year out. Uh, what we're doing, we're doing both the uh, ladies and the men's at the same time, basically because they are the same in, some, in terms of uh, technical specification. Uh, but as I said, very popular wetsuit every year, very well priced um, entry level wetsuit. Uh, which has glued and blind stitch seams, very flexible neoprene the whole way through and lots of other features that will keep you uh, very flexible in the water and very warm. So we'll run through the features. There are some primary differences between the last year's suit and uh, this year's suit which we'll talk to you in a second. Uh, the principal thing that really sort of bring your attention to first is the, um, the uh, term 3-2 which actually means, for those that don't know, is the thickness of the wetsuit. So you've got 3mm of neoprene on the lower body and two millimetre of uh, neoprene on the upper body. Um, obviously, three mil on the core of the suit, which keeps you warmer, and two mil on the upper body of the suit, which gives you more flexibility. Uh, that is the typical weight of a summer wetsuit in the UK, uh, but that might obviously be used in uh, warmer countries as a winter wetsuit. Um, <clears throat> so, having a look first at the men's suit, one thing you'll notice as well on the actual description of the suit is the term GBS, which is the, uh, relates to the actual style of seams on the wetsuit, which is very important. Uh, it's two styles of seams really, you've got the flat lock seam and the GBS seam. The GBS seam basically means glued and blind stitched. So the two pieces of neoprene are married up together, stitched halfway through, and on the inside of the suit they're glued shut. Basically what that does to the suit is it seals it off, stops any water coming in through the seams. Um, obviously this water is still going to get into the suit but a lot slower and it gives you more flexibility as well because there's less stitching running through the suit. Um, basically that's a big uh, advantage in terms of keeping water out of the suit, keeping you warmer and uh, keeping you in the water for longer. The other, other style of seam, the flat lock seam, is breathable so it does let in water. So the GBS seam is one of the sort of uh, main features of this suit. Uh, the next thing along will be the, um, the quality of neoprene. Um, a lot of sort of cheaper suits use what we call a BTN neoprene or a sort of lower grade neoprene which is quite coarse and not flexible. Um, with this suit you do get some of that neoprene but as the years sort of go by um, you're getting more and more of the high quality E3 super stretch neoprene uh, running through the whole of this suit. The E3 is basically Rip Curl's uh, term for their um, Elasto neoprene which is very lightweight, it has more air inside the neoprene so it feels more stretchy um, and does a better job of sticking to your body and keeping you warmer as well and moving with your body and giving you more flexibility. So you can see that sort of demonstrated in the upper part of the suit there. Huge amount of flexibility running through the suit. And this year you're getting even more of that E3 running through the entire suit. So you get it whole way down the midsection, you get it around the knees now to give you more flexibility around your sort of legs, you get it around the shins to give you sort of a bit more ease of getting your foot through the hole and getting into in and out of the wetsuit. You also get it around the lumbar region around the back now so you've got more stretch in the arch of the back of the suit. Uh, so whereas you're sort of being quite a dynamic sport, surfing, whatever you're doing, it's going to give you more flexibility. So uh, loads of flex running through the whole suit. Um, and that's obviously the same for the ladies suit as well. Um, on the collar of the um, men's suit you get a smooth skin single line panel just to stop any rash or rub on your neck. Um, one thing that is slightly different on the ladies one is you get what we call a roll neck collar and basically that just means that uh, as the suit sort of runs up and down your neck the inside piece of neoprene will stick to your neck and the outside piece of neoprene will move up and down which stops any chafing on your neck. So you shouldn't really need to have to wear a rash vest on that suit. So a slight difference between the two but those sort of differences are minimal apart from the actual cut of the suit obviously and some of the graphics. Um, further down on the suit you've got the Duraflex knee pads which is a standard uh, thing these days and it's basically a, a very robust type of material which stops wear and tear on the knee uh, which is typically where wetsuits wear through especially if you're learning. Around the back of the suit you've got the standard sort of Velcro adjustable neck piece um, on the inside you've got a nice little uh, feature here which allows you just to bend in and take it to the stump, stop it sort of sticking to the inside of the suit and bobbling. Um, you've got a lanyard here which basically allows you to put the suit um, onto your, uh, on yourself so you're not going to have to ask some random in the car park. But this sort of brings us inside the suit which uh, really sort of uh, brings us to the key principal differences between last year's suit and this year's suit. Uh, with this year's suit you get a uh, back panel piece of material or bat wing. It's not a full bat wing because it doesn't go up and over your head but it is a, um, a back panel basically which basically is um, a piece of um, neoprene sewn into the back of the wetsuit just underneath the zip so that if any water comes in through the zip instead of being um, 
going straight onto your skin. It's uh, met with this piece of neoprene and drained out of the bottom of the suit. So it's a nice little touch. And any water that comes into your neck as well, not all of it's going to go straight down your back into your wetsuit. It's going to go into the back panel and get directed out of the suit as well. Got the little key pouch there, a little stash pocket for your key, as long as it's not electronic, of course. <coughs> and uh, then you get a nice little uh, lanyard which is attached to the zip as well. That allows you just to pull up the bat wing and um, sort of uh, not have to, again, ask someone in your car park to sort of reach down into the back of your wetsuit. Moving further inside the suit, you also get to see some of the features on the inside. Now, something that's really good for a suit of this value is a thermal chest panel. But something you get even better with a rip curl suit is it's actually made of the flash dry lining. Uh, and flash dry lining, if you're not familiar with it, basically it's a back, chrome, back combed polypro material, which gives it this sort of fluffy effect, which obviously feels good against your skin. It's non-absorbent, so it pulls water out of the suit and allows it to um, dry very, very quickly. Okay, so that chest panel will be nice and dry nice and quickly, and because it stays dry, it keeps you warmer and insulates you and keeps uh, stops you losing so much body heat through the wetsuit um, so quickly. So it'll keep you warmer again and in, in the water longer, ultimately. Um, if you look on the inside of the suit as well, you can see the different sort of types of neoprene. The grey stuff is the E3, and the black is the old school sort of BTN neoprene, the cheaper stuff. So you're getting more and more, more of that these days. And you also get some things like the critical taping on the seams here, just to make sure the suit's nice and robust, and that it's not going to rip apart in any sort of particular area too quickly. So it will show you the inside of the lady suit, just for the ladies that are watching, just sort of you can see the uh, crossover between the two suits, they're very similar. As I say, with the ladies one, it's obviously a different cut, made for ladies. Reaching inside, you do obviously still get that lanyard which pulls up, and you also get the back panel inside the suit. So nice for keeping water off your back, and again you get that flash dry lining inside. So essentially, that's everything there really is to say about the uh, Dawn Patrol for summer 2013. Uh, definitely a recommendation from the Wetsuit Centre and uh, a really good entry level wetsuit.